hey hi guys in this session we will understand one of the important interview question and the topic is difference between find element and find elements so these are the differences in between both find element and find elements so these are the situation when multiple elements are present on the web page in that case find element returns the first element right if multiple elements are available so it will pick only first element and find elements returns all the elements which are available on the web page when single element is present on the web page in that case find element and find elements both will return single element when no element is present on the web page in that case find element throws an exception that is no such element exception and if no element is present on the web page in that case find element doesn't throw any exception it will return only zero elements and return type of find element will be web element and return type of find elements it will be list of web element and uh, how to access this find element directly we can access and this find elements uh, we can access through either you can use iterator or you can use any for loop or you can use for each loop so let's understand through coding i already have created this package practice selenium and under practice selenium package i have created this class that is find element and find elements and method we have created now we can launch the browser web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver now we can import it after importing we can maximize the browser driver dot manage dot window dot maximize after maximize we can launch the application so driver dot get and here we can pass the url of google.com you can assume this is an application when multiple elements are present on web page in that case find element it will return first element and find elements it will return all the elements let's see through programming so now i will here use driver dot find element and here i will use by dot tag name tag name i can use a a we use for the tag name a is used for the link right and return type c find element return type will be web element so we will write here web element web element and then we can pass one reference variable that is element is equal to this right now i will have to import right since this is available under org dot open qa dot selenium package see so here we have used driver dot find element this is a method of web driver now we can we can print right system dot out dot print ln so i want to print this element i can put some message here element plus right now we are going to use driver dot find elements driver dot find element see earlier we have used this find element now we are going to use this find elements again here i will use the same thing by dot tag name a you can use any of the tag name not necessarily to use this tag name a right now we can define here type right so i will put one reference variable reference variable you can take anything elements elements and after that i will have to provide here return type so see this is the return type 
list of web element list of web element is a written type of find elements method so here we can use list and under this we can provide element web element and again i will have to import this list and it is available under java.util package see again we can print system.out.println and we can print this value of find elements right so let me run this see so we are validating the same thing tag name right in both the places we are validating tag name a so as you can see here in this in this google.com we have so many links right we have so many links but this find element will return only first web element and this find elements it will return all the links which are available under this application this google.com right so let's run it and see the output It will launch the browser, maximize, launch the application. And now it has find out. Let me see the console output, see. So this element, right? This find element, it has written only one tag name, only first element, see. It has written only first element, right? This is the first element, right? But this find elements, this find elements it has written all the web elements all the tag which are available all the tag name a which are available under google.com see this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one fourth one fifth one like see so whatever the tag name a is available on the page it has written all of them and see in the same i have written here when multiple elements are present on the web page see this tag name is available this is multiple elements are available right multiple tag name a is available on the google.com right we can see here again tag name a tag name a tag name a right if i show you one another link this is also link right see for this also tag name a tag name a so many tag a is available right but this find element find element is returning only one tag the first tag it is returning and this find elements is returning all the tag which are available under the application right so first difference we have seen first we have seen and we have seen this return type for both of them right web element and list of web element we have seen see here we have used this uh, web element and for the find elements we have used list of web element right so we have seen both of them right and second one if one single element is present on the web page in that case find element and find elements both will return single element right now we can see this one when no element is present on the web page right in that case find element throws an exception that is no such element exception so let me show you so i will comment this one as of now and here i will put something else so that it will get fail right so i have added one as well right and now we can run it It is throwing an exception right so when it will not find out the element in that case it will throw an exception that is no such element exception no such element exception you can see i'm talking about this find element right so find element if it doesn't find out the element in that case it will throw an exception that is no such element exception right and this find elements now i will comment these 
two lines and I will uncomment these two lines right and this find elements doesn't throw any exception returns zero element see let's see I will put here something so that it will get failed and let me run it So it doesn't throws any exception, right? It is throwing empty list, right? Either either it will throw empty list or it will throw zero, right? So see, in that case, it is saying does not throw any exception, returns zero or you can say empty list. So in that case, it is returning empty list, right? Two things it will return. Either it will return empty list or it will return zero so we have seen these four right and the last one uh, you can see find element can be directly accessed as here we are accessing directly right and this list of web element also you can directly access but if you want any particular element in that case you will have to iterate right and for iterating either you can use uh, for loop or you can use iterator or you can use for each loop so if you want i can show you how to iterate so let's say i am putting one condition here that is let's say this elements dot size should not equal to zero if it is not equal to zero then it will go inside this if condition and here I will print some message here elements found by tag name as input here we can check the size of size of this element site right? and after that Again, I'm using for loop. Here I am storing this element, this elements, and I will store in one reference variable. Reference variable, we can take anything. So I'm taking here input. We can take input as well, and then we can provide the return type. So return type will be web element, as we are going to iterate element only, right? And after that, we will print system dot out dot print ln. This input. Let's say I want to find out something, right? Let's say I want to find out some attribute, get attribute, right? So we can pass some attribute here. Tag name should be input, right? see so here we have tag name input right so now here we can take the value right this is the attribute right so we can pass any attribute either you can pass this arial label this this is also attribute so these are the attribute only class is also attribute value area hyphen label this is also attribute name is also attribute right these are the attribute right so what i want i want get attribute means it will get the value of this attribute right so we can pass the attribute here so that we can get the value of the attribute right so what we are doing first of all uh, we have used here find elements and where tag name is input right tag name you can use anything right i have used here input right and written type will be this list of web element and here i'm checking the condition if if uh, element size is not equal to zero then it will print the size of the element like how many how many size are available right and after that after that what we are doing we are iterating like let's say suppose that here we have 100 elements right so if we have 100 element then we will have to iterate each of them so for iterating i am using here for each loop right and this element i am storing in input reference variable and return type will be 
web element because we are going to iterate one one element right so after iterating right it will iterate and it will check in every input tag and it will get the attribute value of this area label right so let me run it so let's see the console output c so it has returned element found by tag name as 7 right so it means total size is 7 right so tag name input total 7 tag name is available in google with the name of input tag right and so it means it is not equal to 0 it went inside this if condition and it has printed the size of the element right that is 7 right and after that it has iterated it has iterated each of them and it has get attribute value of this area label so see search google search so these are the attribute these are the attribute value of this area label those are present in the input tag all seven input tag right it it has checked in all seven input tag and wherever it found area level attribute it has get the attribute value right so this is how you can iterate right in find element this is how you can iterate the element so if you want to find out any particular any specific value then you can put the condition like this you can check the condition if condition is satisfied then you can iterate each of them and then you can get the value right so this is how we can use right so we have seen all of them and how to explain to interviewer i have written here find element is used to find a single element on web page and if if the element is not found then it throw an exception that is no such element exception and find elements is used to find multiple elements on web page and if it doesn't find the element then it doesn't throw any exception it returns zero elements or it will return empty list right so you can explain to interviewer like this. So I hope you understood. Thank you guys for watching this video.